some of the particles that are circulating now in our breathable air include fine particulate matters. They're called PM2.5. So they're very, very small particles. You can't really see them, but they're causing the haze in the air. And those are the particles that cause the sun to turn orange. And these particles are so small that they get ingested or get breathed, not ingested, but breathed deeply down into the respiratory tract. And they're actually absorbed across our alveoli, which are the, 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 the tissue that, that absorbs oxygen. These small particles get absorbed across our alveoli into our bloodstream, and they cause direct inflammation, both within the lungs and throughout the rest of the body. These inflammatory effects can actually provoke things like heart attacks in people who are susceptible. They can cause the blood to clot and provoke uh, heart attack strokes and, and peripheral blood clots. Uh, they can cause direct inflammation in the lungs. And if you have asthma or COPD or other lung disease, they can cause an acute deterioration to the point where we see hospital emergency visits and hospital admissions go up on the day of air pollution and up to 48 hours after a high pollution day because of that inflammation happening within the lungs. Uh, we can see increases of 25 to 30 percent in, in, in hospital visits and eMERGE visits uh, in those days around a high pollution event. A day like today is a bad day and so this is a day where people have to be careful. Uh, if you have pre-existing lung disease like asthma or COPD or lung fibrosis or if you have pre-existing heart disease, if you have angina or a history of congestive heart failure, you probably should try to avoid doing any sort of heavy exertion outside today. It could potentially be dangerous, and the danger can, can, can even exist two or three days after the exposure. It's not advisable to exercise in this sort of air quality. Uh, so ideally, I would say that you might want to consider taking the train or an Uber home and, and avoiding exercise outdoors on these days. You can imagine when you're biking, especially if you're exerting yourself and biking uphill, your minute ventilation is increasing. You're taking in more air proportionally. And all that fine dust, those fine particulates, are, 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 are being exposed at a higher level within your lungs and within your bloodstream. So even if you're healthy, you should be taking precautions on days like today and trying to minimize heavy outdoor exertion. You know, be, be cautious, be aware. I think that when Environment Canada is putting out these smog advisory warnings and these air quality warnings, those are the days when you should not be outside exercising. You can exercise, but do it in the gym where there's uh, you know, air conditioned air or do it in your home. Don't go outside and bike 20K or run 20K today. It's, it's potentially dangerous even if you're healthy. There, there are certain uh, volatile chemicals that are, exist in wildfires, polycyclic carbons. And these things you wouldn't actually see in an ordinary pollution day. So theoretically, the, 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 the particulate matter is probably the same. The particular matter risk is probably the same. But there are extra compounds and extra uh, chemicals that are circulating in our air with a wildfire that may be potentially more dangerous.